Hey everybody, what is going on? Today we're checking out a game called Look Your Loot. Uh, it is a game that I just randomly decided to check out a few nights ago and have found myself playing it uh, every night when I get in bed lately. Uh, it's, it's become my get into bed game for the last few nights. It's actually pretty fun. It's very simple, but it's very interesting. And I thought I would, sh I would share it with you guys. There is no Blue Stacks link for this one uh, as, of, as of right now. So you'll just have to look this one up. Uh, I am playing it on Bluestack, so it's there, but there's no offer for it. Um, so there's nothing for me to link below. But I'll, I'll have it up on the screen and obviously in the title and stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. It's a little card battler. And again, very simple. So we'll, we'll just start playing it and um, do the tutorial. And, and then, then we'll jump into some of the other game modes because there are some different ways to play and, and some stuff to unlock. It's pretty pretty interesting. All right, so your hero's card. Your health points. And then everything around you is stuff in the dungeon, okay? You can hold down on a card to get the description of it, like that. Tells you a little bit about what, you, what you're looking at. And your goal is to move around and not lose your health, not, not fully deplete your health. So there's loot, there are spells you can cast, there's different enemies that do different things. You can grab a shield to stack on top of your current HP. Um, there will be healing potions occasionally. It is, it is again, very simple. One of those things that's like way more fun than I was expecting it to be. So let's grab a shield. Let's grab some loot. Let's kill this dude. So you see we had three shield and you 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 take the damage of the card that you're exchanging with, right? So that card had a three. It took away our three shield points. And then here's some health potions, right? So I can grab a, a fireball. It'll shoot it in every direction. So since I was in the corner, I can only shoot it two ways. But if you can get one in the middle like that, you can shoot it in all four directions. So pretty neat. Um... But then this is it. This is this is the gameplay loop. And then, again, there's more modes we'll take a look at. There's other characters you can unlock, different classes and stuff that I haven't actually done yet. So that'll be pretty interesting when we get there. Each turn, the power of a locked barrel decreases by one. What is inside? Let's open it and see. I keep thinking I can click anywhere to get around that. So, like, here we've got a health potion that's two, and we're missing two health, so we'll go ahead and heal. And then we can take out a few more enemies. There's the boss card. Uh, defeat the boss to increase the difficulty of the game. Get a chest at the next card. So. The chest is not a gimme either. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll see when we get to the chest. It is uh, interesting. Okay, so. Getting a little low. I'm going to grab this potion. I can't fight the boss yet. I'm going to grab a fireball. I'm going to grab this shield. All right, I'm actually going to grab this loot before I hit the boss. Actually, we can probably grab that too. Yeah, we might as well. Let's hit him with a fireball. And then now we can go ahead and kill him. We, we take a little bit of damage, but I think we'll be all right. So now we get to pick. When we see fireballs, are they are they one damage stronger? Or health regen. I've never seen health regen. Let's actually take that one. First chest. If you unlock it, you'll be rewarded. Now, unlocking it again is is a bit of an event. So let, let me show you that real quick. So it's a, it'll, it opens up this little mini game. You have to push every one of these down. If you miss once, it's done and you don't get the chest. Um, so be real sure. Well, okay, if you hit any of the pegs with skulls on them, I thought it was also the other things. I thought if you missed at all, I would have sworn the first time I did this, I hit one of those solid ones. So you can miss and hit the solid ones, but if you hit any any of these things with the skulls, the chest is just going to go away. I want to save the easy one for last. Yeah, we should be good now. All right, so we get that one. What do we got here? 
I haven't seen this yet either. An activated bomb will explode in a few moves, brings damage to all neighboring cards, and half the damage to the cards behind them. Okay. So wait, is this a good thing for me or a bad thing for me? Does it also damage me? Hmm. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about <laughs> what we're looking at there. Let's grab some stuff out of these barrels. I feel like I want to try to... Part of me wants to try to swap with it and see if I can just move it around. Or if I need to be... I am I am curious if I take damage from it. Oh, that was a terrible move, by the way, because the, the I forgot that the po the the, the, uh, the spells deplete health from anything. So they make potions weaker. They make... Like, they, they, they affect everything. We don't need any health. Right now. I guess we'll take the one. I'm going to swap with this and see what happens. Okay, nothing. We just moved it around. I want to get away from this bomb. Nice. All right, let's heal up. Hey. Opening barrels. Try to. Have you tried opening barrels while you... Oh, I guess I guess I get punished for opening barrels. No, he's hitting me every time no matter what. Crap, this isn't good. Um, all right, let's... Is he hurting me? Okay. Let's, um... Knife. Let's shield dash. Let's grab a shield. And then now, let's hit him. Maximum health points or bag capacity. Yeah, let's go maximum health points. We can grab that. That. Heal. And we'll try to open this chest. Ooh. All right, restores percentage of max HP, let's take it. The key, I'm guessing it just lets me open the next chest I get. I'm not real sure though. I don't think I've gotten to use a key yet. All right, let's go here, here, get rid of the trap. Smack dude out. Grab a barrel. Grab the other barrel. Yeah, that'll be handy. Let's heal up. Hit dude. Get rid of the trap. We could technically end this fight right now. Double your reward, health regen. Health regen is probably really handy. Double your reward. Nah, let's go health regen. Let's do that. All right, and then I'm probably... Let's do this. Grab what's in the barrel. Take a little healing. Get rid of the trap. Big heal. Nice. All right, what do we got here? What is this? Let's get a small Armageddon on the board started and hold the cards over near the hero will lose half his health. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't want to lose half my health right now. I don't want to do it. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, this dude's interesting. I don't fully understand the card, to be honest. Let me read it better. He's either visible or hidden, leaving for the fog. When fogged, Spooky is invulnerable to direct damage. 
The hero will only exchange position, positions with him. Always suffers from spells. That's not all. He's a mime. Each turn reflects the hero's health minus one. So I think if he gets a turn, he's then going to... His health is going to shoot up. And he's not fogged right now, so right now I think I can kill him. Yeah, so we want to get him out of there. We can get rid of a trap. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of another trap. What are you doing? Revived pumpkins throughout the neighborhood. It sounds mad, but the legend of a lost poor fellow Jack on Lantern exists. Take care. Turns any neighboring card except the hero into a pumpkin, and their power gradually increases. Okay. So then I want to get them out of here pretty quick, huh? So why don't we why don't we just knife him and then get him out of here? Master of Shields skill upgrade. I don't even know what Master of Shields is, uh, but let's take it. Why not? And then let's do that. I don't guess the key did odd. The key didn't automatically open a chest, or did it? I didn't catch if it did, actually, which I'm kind of annoyed about. What does this one do again? The wand was made to multiply their gold. Doubles the power of neighboring cards. Okay, so I don't want to do that yet. I want to wait until that's on a shield or a health potion or something like that. So we're going to try to hold off on hitting that one. I think this dude shoots. Every move attacks useful cards around him. Reducing their power by one. Do not stay indifferent. He increases their power. Okay. I want him out of here. I want him dead! So yeah, like... If I... Jump out of here... Now if I grab the potion, it'll double... But it's also gonna double... Him which I'm just going to have to deal with. I need that healing. Okay, let's get you out of here. You bastard. That shield is going to be real nice to have. All right. What's the path of least resistance here? Maybe this way? This way. This way. And then I could I could end this fight. And then I could end the fight and then grab the fireball and the health. Even though I am gonna knock some health out of that. Maybe. I don't think there's any way for me to get to that potion without hitting it with a fireball. So I might as well do this. Nice. That healing came just in time, dude. Alright, another reward. Whoops. Oof. Killing the chest so far. Chained lightning bolt. Spread across the board from monster to monster, increasing its power for unknown reason. It also damages traps. Strangely and, and, strangely enough, a poison card. Okay. I think I kind of want to try to hang on to that. I guess I can't, though. I can only go one way here. I can't win that fight. Let's grab that. 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 Get the big one out of here. 
Oh, I should have I should have held long press that to see exactly what it does. I imagine it opens a chest and I just didn't catch it last time. We'll take a heal. Take this. Take that. Oh. Time to test the hero with fire and the lore will help us. Each move he moves the direction to launch his fireballs. Letting him go diagonally or to neighboring cards. So... If I go here, am I dead? Is that what that means? I could go here, but I might die. Whereas I can take this damage from the trap and then grab the shield. Which I guess I have to do. Wow. He, he covers all the ground, too. That's, that's rough. Let's see what happens if I go down here. Yeah, he hit me. I don't know what to do about this one. So it seems to swap, so this time he's going to come this way again. There's nothing I can do about this. If I go up, I take another hit. It's only a one, though. Maybe we can get lucky and find some healing somewhere or something. I wish I had something in here that would help me win this fight. I don't know what... I don't know how... I need to heal. Head gummit, dude. So he just went diagonal, right? Let's do that. I mean, he, he could just keep taking them out for me, honestly. There's a, there's a heal. All right, that still doesn't put me high enough, though. He took damage from something. I missed it, though. All right, he just went diagonal, right? Keep forgetting that's a that counts. He just went straight, right? So he's gonna go diagonal this time. I'm gonna have to just take the hit here. I'm going to have to take another hit. That gummit. All right, he went diagonal. So this time he'll go. I'm going to take the hit no matter what. Again, we gotta just take the hit to get the healing. 
and then we need to offset this a bit. He just went diagonal. I gotta get out of here, but God, I don't want to take seven. Crap. This is not where we want him, dude. <laughs> I've got to get him. I've got to I've got to get him moved. I'm not sure I can get him moved. Now, I think I think he might be there. And I I have got myself in a terrible pattern here that I can't undo. That's all right. That's just the opening stage. We did pretty good there. Um, actually. We did pretty good there. Oh, we got an ad. So now I can show you the menu and um, some of the other game modes and some of what you can unlock. Also, too, in this game, it has the skip ad thing after a few seconds, which I've been playing a lot of games lately that don't have that, and it's real annoying. Um, all right, so here's your, your character that you started with, and then you've got... Combat Mage, Thief, Paladin, Ruiner, Druid. See what I mean? There's like several other characters you could get that all play very differently. And then there are... No, I don't want anything. And then there's different modes. So there's two by two. So it's 54 cards. So you have to get through 54 cards. And then when you do... The, the, I think the 54th or 55th card will be an exit to the dungeon card. And if you can get to that, you beat you beat it. Same here with three by four. And then there's um there's just there's different game modes. It's pretty interesting. I've 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 tried two two by two a bit. And then I don't remember. I also don't know what this little icon means. It was it was back on the main screen too, where you select your character. Night plus night. And and then once you've once you've lit it up, I don't know how to undo it. I don't have any idea what it means. I don't know how to undo it. <laughs> uh, it's just, I, I, I don't know. If anyone, if anyone knows what that's about, let me know. But that's it. It's a pretty cool little game. There is quite a bit of replayability. And then again, with the different characters you can unlock that like all play differently, it could get pretty interesting. So uh, this is one that I, that I just enjoyed and thought you guys might get a kick out of. Thought I would share it with you. Uh, again, sorry, there's no link for it, but it's called Look Your Loot if it's something that you decide you want to check out. And uh, that's it. I reckon we'll get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you.